Well, my 1990 Cadillac is uh, sitting pretty here in my garage, but there is no engine in here. Sadly, the car got stolen. I recovered it uh, yesterday uh, by the local police department, and uh, it got returned to me with no engine. Even took the radiator. The whole car was intact except for the engine is gone. Nothing I can do about it. You guys might be wondering why they left me the cover for the air cleaner, the fan shroud, even my K&N air filter, the various parts like that. <laughs> the truth is, is that uh, myself and a friend of mine, uh, him and I took out the engine out of this car. So pick up your jaw and close your mouth. I cannot wait to show you guys what happened to that engine, what led me to do it, and the end result after the engine is back in here to fire it up and to drive it. That is going to be very exciting for me and I cannot wait to share you guys with you guys and those same experiences as well. Uh, it's one thing to be able to experience it myself but then to be able to share the excitement is a whole other aspect in itself. Also a video will be made showing the car inside and out which will include some very nice upgrades that I have made to this car. Some of them having to do with electrical and some of them having to do with cosmetic. And also uh, I've been getting some questions about a couple cosmetic issues. Well this video will resolve them, uh, the one I'll be making later. I actually have the engine already, and I cannot wait to drop it in here and fire it up. Now these two radiators here, the one on the right, uh, used to belong to my Buick, uh, the 83. I removed it, uh, let's see, last uh, September, end of August, beginning of September, I replaced it. And I had a, I put that one in in the year 2000, so I got 10 years out of that radiator. But I replaced it with an all aluminum, uh, better quality radiator. The one here on the left, the taller, thicker one, belongs to the Cadillac, uh, 1990. And that's the original radiator to the car. That one I'm also going to replace it. I got the new engine in there, and I'm going to also put a all aluminum radiator as well. Smells nice in here. Nice, rich smell of leather. Beautiful. Meanwhile, the engine's being put back together and back into the car. She'll just sit pretty here in my climate controlled garage, completely protected and out of the weather. Now what we got here is the area where the door post uh, opera lights are. And as you see, I've removed them. We just have an empty space here. There's a chrome bezel that goes up and down this entire door post on the outside. And then in the center would go the opera light. And well, I removed them on both sides because only one of them worked actually. It was kind of dim in my opinion. So I did a few creative things to them. They just look absolutely brilliant. I'm really pleased with them. And in a future video, I'm going to be showing what they look like and show you what I did to them. Also, what else is coming up? Uh, there'll be the engine installation. I'll get as much as I can of that. And also the firing it up. And I'm going to do a dyno on the car at the local machine shop. So stay tuned for the dyno video as well. That's going to be pretty exciting. <laughs> 